Hello everybody and welcome back to the I'm player one. I'm player two. And welcome to Professor Layton in the Curious Village is what he meant to say for those of you who can't speak. What was that, bubble? Fucking I'm a fish man. Bop. I'm a goofy gooba. Last time. I swear to God, you're having a stroke. <laughs> Last time. A uh, puzzle. Puzzles? Puzzle. Yes. Let us now. Why is it just ominously called the park? The park. Crouton, I swear to God, you better not have another one. Good day, fellows. Did you ever check down Raymond? Indeed, we did. Thank you for assistance in that matter. Good to hear. Well, since you're here already, while I take a load off, rest for a bit. Was this? Oh my! Where did I put that measuring cup? You yeah. bastard! You big bitch! <sighs> you have one 16 quart pitcher full of water, one empty 9 quart pitcher, and one empty 7 quart pitcher. Using nothing but these three pitchers, can you divide the water evenly so that the 16 and 9 quart pitchers are each holding exactly 8 quarts of water? Well, it's time to start doing it, I guess. Let's try, uh... Okay. This is a weird process you're going through. Boom. There we go. <laughs> Critical thinking is the key to success. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, genius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard a rumor the kidnapping is in the tower. You know, I've never heard anyone say anything great about the tower. Make sure you keep clear of it, okay? Alright. Flick. Do you have the stuff? Do you have the stuff? The hound came back. It was a little. He was very cute. Hey, team. You guys like chess? Here we go. Uh, no, because I'm not Miles Edgeworth. See if you can place four queens on this 4x4 chessboard. There's a catch, though. You must arrange the pieces so that no queen blocks another's line of movement. Oh. Yeah. These ones are great. Alright. Get <laughs> Thank you. 
Yep. Wait. Yep. Ba da 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 Every puzzle has an answer. I am genuinely surprised I got that first try. I'm, I went too fast. I gave Luke a chair. <laughs> Yay! You can sit down now. I bet it's squishy and soft. Like your mother. We only have 40 more puzzles. Damn. Oh, another one. Another one. Now we have five. <laughs> okay. Uh, Let me just do what you had. Okay, so now, how do we add in another one? <clears throat> uh, yeah. Nice. That should do it. I am frighteningly good at this. Puzzle solved. No, it, it wasn't. It really wasn't. You gave us an wowzers. You gave us an entire extra lane. Painting screen. More chess. Yes. My favorite. Now we have three. Let's try something a little different this time. See if we can arrange three queens on this five out of chess boards so and no pieces can be placed so that no more pieces can be placed on the board. Make sure you place a piece so no queen blocks another's line of movement. So we have to fill... We have to make sure no other pieces can be placed, but we also can't block the movement. Wait, no. Diagonal. Nice if I could draw. Oh wait, no, that's in the way. You're right. Okay, so hang on, hang on. We got the the the. That's in the way. Bada bada bow. Bada bada bow. Bada bada bow. Wait 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 wait. wait. Yeah, no more. I don't think any more queens can be placed. No, any more pieces. Any more pieces? So they have to do every square? Hmm. Go ahead and save it. I think that's it. You think this is it? Yeah. Uh... And... Damn it. Missing two. Okay. Okay. 
So right now we're missing these two squares. Mm hmm Yeah. No. Damn it. So then what if I just... Would that be the same? Oh damn, they're blocking. <laughs> okay, so so right now we're just missing this one. Uh, uh okay. maybe if I just No, that's worse. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna do something. Since we can save at any moment, I'm gonna get it in. Oh. Okay. You check everything thoroughly, you'll find the answer sooner or later. Don't put anything in the center square. Remember that you have to arrange a piece so that no queen box on this line movement. Even if you think you've got the answer, if one of your queens turns red, it means that you haven't got the placement just right yet. Alright, well that's a little something. But I could assume not anything in the center square. Let's try that. 
What you thinking? Hang on, hang on, hang on. So now those are blocking. But then what if I just... We did it! Oh yes. Brute force. Delicious. Don't you just love when you bang your head into a wall? Just wait for the demo to have ready next time. Hat rack. Well, they both have hats. Try late. This is the last puzzle. Oh my, the last one. Can you guess what it is? Uh, Eighty picarets. In chess, the queen can move the full length of the board diagonally, vertically, and horizontally. You have three queens positioned on an 8x8 chessboard. Place the remaining five queens on the board so that no piece blocks another's line of movement. So we gotta do the full eight. Okay. We already have some placed for us. Looks right. Ah, good lagoon. Yeah, just shift that over there. Look, here's my answer. We have conquered the chest. Another puzzle solved. The hardest one was the. Second to last one, but the three. Check and mate. You've done it. I knew you two were chess masters under it all. I was sure from our very first match. Hating scrap. All right, Flick. Goodbye. That we got painting scraps to look at. Painting scrap. Pip -pip 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 painting scrap. That's just the thing I need. What does Luke think about this? Oh, Luke actually takes the bookcase. Really? Yeah. How can you tell? Goody, a bookshelf. I was just thinking about how much I wanted one. Good thing I have a bookshelf for these. Right now they're about three quarters. 
see it. Oh, it's uh, the Baron's late wife. Either that or it's the uh, current Baroness. Because cat. Cat. I'm a kitty cat. And I got some stuff. Some stuff. Yeah. Marco. Ada. Ada. What's it like in New York City? I'm a thousand miles away from you and girl. You look so pretty. Yes, you do. I'm a thousand miles away from you and girl. You look so pretty. Yes, you do. I'm sorry. I know it's Dahlia, but... Hey. Mm -hmm. Oh look, it's Matthew! Good day, Professor. Were you able to track down Ingrid? Yes, we did. In fact, we were just speaking with her. I mean no disrespect, but she said the grave of the Baron's late wife lies on these grounds. Do you have any knowledge of this? Lady Violet's grave, sir. I was just about to visit it myself. Would you mind if we came along to take a look? Not in the slightest, right this way. Here's the entrance, sirs. Please watch your step on the way in. Oh. This is Lady Violet's grave. Gosh, this place is really nice. It's not creepy at all. The late Baron, rest his soul, told me to keep this place in proper order. And I have tried to do so. Here sleeps Violet, my one true love. Professor, why do I hear Bark Dark Souls boss music? Giant skeleton hair blink just blong. out. Blink blink blong. The statue looks so like so much like Lady Dahlia, it's hard to believe there's someone else. Back when Flora was just a tiny little thing, Lady Violet used to take her to the park in town. Some of the flowers in the garden grew from the ones Flora planted here for her mother. Oh, I forgot to tell you about the Baron's journal. It should still be on the desk in Madame's room. It's possible that it might contain some information that could aid your search for the golden apple. My thanks, Matthew. I'll be sure to give it a once-over later. Now then, Luke, we'd best head back to Reinhold Manor. Nice. I don't think there's any more coins here. I'm just, I'm just double checking. I think Brian would have popped in and said something by now. This must be the journal that Matthew spoke of. I have to admit, he seems to know where everything in the manor is. There's something about reading someone else's journal that just doesn't seem proper to me. However, the investigation must continue, so... Qualifying pride. The craftsmanship of it is simple and remarkable. It reminds me of my sweet Violet when she was alive. What do you suppose it refers to? Flora doesn't like the thing at all. I've seen her run away from it on multiple occasions. Recently, she spends more time playing by dear Violet's grave than anywhere else. I'm sad to say I doubt Flora will ever take to it. I can't blame her, as I've changed its memory. I felt terrible forcing the change on Flora, but I just couldn't bear to see it like that anymore. Violet, there can never be another you. You were my first, my last, my only. Changed its memory? I'm not sure what the Baron means, but this is clearly vital information here. I collapsed some days ago and I've been bedridden ever since. I feel as if I have failed Flora as a father. I can only hope that when I am gone, the people of the village look after Flora and care for her as I did. He must have been terribly ill. It seems I am not long for this world and the time has come for me to say goodbye to my little Flora. I've left everything in Bruno's care now. Flora, I pray you find happiness in this life. 
I've disclosed the location of the secret place in a note that I've left with an old friend. It is my most fervent hope that the seeker of the golden apple finds it and grants my dearest wish. Professor! Baron Reinhold's old friend. We must seek out this person. A friend? A professor? How could we possibly find that person with nothing but the journal to go on? <laughs> it's like I always say, Luke. Any good investigation starts on the street. We'll just have to ask everyone in town about the matter. What? I mean, of course. You're absolutely right, Professor. Let's get going. Of course, any good investigation also needs direction. Let's start out by asking Ingrid a few questions. She seems to know a great deal about Baron Reinhold. We're going to ask every single person in this village. In. Oh, there she is. Oh! Were you Ingrid? I don't know. Oh, look who it is. Professor Lado, was it? The name's Leighton, madam. Oh, that's right, Professor Leighton. All that talking about the mansion you did last time got me reminiscing. I decided to stop by for a visit. But enough about me. By the look on your face, it seems you have something you want to ask me. As a matter of fact, I do. Do you happen to know who Baron Reinhold considered his close friends? His friends, you say? Well, he wasn't exactly what you'd call a social butterfly. I'm sorry, that's really all I knew of his friends. Oh, wait a moment. I do believe I saw that Zapone fellow pay a visit to the mansion a few times. Professor, should we... should... Should he? Uh, could she be referring to the man we met? Ah, oh, yes, that gentleman with the fancy little mustache. We should ask if he knows anything. I would wager he's still hanging about the fork in the road just beyond the clock tower. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. When you walk in, when you walk in, they say me rolling, they hate him. Bibbidi bobbidi. Most friends of the Baron. It's true, I had a ple I had the pleasure of meeting Baron Reinhold a few times. Mr. Zafon, you didn't happen to be good friends with the Baron, did you? Me? <laughs> no, no, that was nothing of the sort. Can you think of anyone at all who was close to Baron Reinhold? No, I didn't really know him. Well, there is one possibility. Ah, never mind, I'm not sure. I guess the phone really can't really tell us much of anything. Yes, I'm afraid he was no help at all. I suppose that means we're back where we started. But at least we can be sure that this close friend we're after is a resident of St. Mystere. We mustn't give up, Luke. Let's continue to ask around. Why not ask Matthew? Giuseppe. Veal. Mm. Oh, this guy. Oh. What was his name, Gerard? Ah, he is Gerard. I think we kept passing this guy around. Uh, I've never so much as held a conversation with Baron Reinhold. You now, Sunny, as much as I like to keep chatting, I'm afraid tired. I think I need to go lie down. Are you feeling unwell, sir? I'm just plumb exhausted lately. Set off a noise coming from the tower, you see. It's gone so loud I can't sleep a wink at night. Do you know what's causing the noise? It's just a rumor, but I hear that every time that sound rips through Satan's stairs, someone disappears. They say the ones who go missing are people who've been talking about feeling tired. But those who disappear are back before you know it, so it's probably just a load of puppy cock. Whenever the noise sounds, someone disappears. Interesting. Do you think the peculiar sound has anything to do with the strange old man who abducted Raymond? It's certainly a possibility, isn't it? But why would he release his victims after going through the trouble of kidnapping them? Certainly interesting. And I think we'll find out more next time. Yay. I've been playing one.
I've been player two. And we'll see you next time when we figure out who the Baron was friends with. Yes. Yes. Ba da ba ba da ba.